So hey everybody, it's the first week of April and I have yet to do a garden tour this year. Now the main reason I haven't done anything is because, well, really nothing's been growing. But <laughs> the last few days there's been big changes to this backyard. So why don't we do a video today where I give a tour of the garden and the progress of everything that I have going. So let's do it. All right, first, right off the bat, we're gonna start over here. Yeah. If y'all have been watching this channel for a while, you know this is the peppermint bed. This is the bed that I have the peppermint in. I did the peppermint video on. If we're going to be truthful about this, let's look over here in this corner. And there's peppermint. Cannot get rid of this stuff. So again, never plant peppermint in a bed. But on this bed right here, all these little greens that we have sprouting, this is cilantro. This entire bed's gonna be cilantro, except for the pineapple sage that's right there. Okay, right beside that bed is where I put in the planter boxes for the, for the potatoes. Now, this bed right here was always going to be something other than potatoes. So what I put in here were beets. And I have beets coming up. Now they're going slow, and some, like right there, hard to see. But they're coming and if you look right over here these are all radishes and then these are all radishes okay now this bed is going to be the sweet potato bed but i didn't have any sweet potatoes growing i didn't even have slips growing until just now so i put in a bunch of radishes and look at that i planted these a week ago and of course as soon as i plant Radishes in the sweet potato bed. Look what starts coming up. Sweet potato. Of course. And then the sweet potato experiment, the sweet potato slip experiment is working. Look at that. They're coming. So excited about that. And then right beside it, let me get out of the sun here. And then right here beside it are, is the potato bed where I did the video on planting the potatoes. And you can see just how much growth these are putting on. It's amazing. And then the bed, the experiment where I took that monster ugly potato and put it, put all the little babies in this bucket. Look what they're doing. So to say that I'm going to have a good amount of potatoes this year, I think is quite safe. <laughs> very excited about that okay right here we have this big old vine growing and these beautiful roses I mean look at that so pretty I think it's very important even in a garden even in a vegetable garden to have flowers of some kind bring in different types of an insects and then this vine that I thought was dead three weeks ago look at all the growth at the top I really thought the freezes killed that, so I'm very excited about that. And then here are the garlic. They are all doing really good, putting on good thick stalks. I wanna say I'm gonna have a good yield of garlic this year, but we'll see, you never know. Okay, over here in this bed, this was my first raised bed, so this is the oldest one. Well, this is my first cinder block bed, not raised bed. That whole thing was the first raised bed this is the first cinder block bed so this soil is just about nine months old i guess somewhere in that range and pretty much everything i put in here grows um so far i don't want to jinx it but we've got flowers right here on this i planted some basil because i'm right next to tomatoes now these are my single seed challenge tomato plants this one is star bright which is mine and that one is Moonlight, which is the second grade classes. And they are doing great. But because I have tomatoes here, I've got basil here and purple basil right over there because basil helps mask the smell of tomatoes, which will help keep away the hornworms and all the bad pests, or at least I hope it'll help. Right here, I've got peppers planted, more peppers planted. We've got a volunteer marigold coming up. I'm excited for that. I didn't have to buy it <laughs> more peppers I'm leaving this kale in here for now I mean why not I don't 
need that room right now. This dill plant is enormous and I'm about to plant a whole lot more dill. Garlic right there, more peppers, carrot patch. The carrots are good. I mean, look how tall they are. Three weeks ago, they were not even a third of that. And then more peppers. Now this entire area right here are jalapeno peppers and the hot ones. Here's that peppermint. It obviously didn't, <laughs> this peppermint did not die from the freezes. Wish it would have, but, and then there's still more peppermint here in the lawn. Like I didn't, like I showed in that video, that thing is not going anywhere, but it's all good. More peppermint right here, which of course won't go anywhere. Jojo, where are you going? You gonna help? Oh, it is not that hot. Okay, so coming over here, more carrots. Different types of carrots. I've got seven different carrots growing, and I'll be honest, I don't remember which kind these are, but it's two different types. And um, I wanna say these are purple because of the stalks. I noticed that last year, and I think, oh, wait, hold on. So these are a red carrot on this this side, and, oh. and these are the black carrot, black carrots right here. So good about that. Now the coming right over here, these tomatoes I grew from seeds, and to be totally honest, I grew them in each of these little cups. That's why the cups are still out here. I didn't just didn't feel like didn't feel like making more of these so I just left the cups there I did not think any of these would live to be totally honest I threw them in the ground here praying that they would take off and their roots would take hold sure enough they have so I've got seven or eight different types of indeterminate tomatoes through here which as they get bigger I'll do a video on my tomatoes because throughout the entire garden I've got I want to say nine different types of tomatoes. Could be wrong on that, but somewhere in that range. But these were all these were all from seed, and they're all doing really good. Now I've probably lost, probably losing this one. I don't think it's going to survive, but that's all right. You can't win them all. If you look right here, this is a volunteer marigold. Volunteer marigolds. I've got, I've got marigolds popping up everywhere, which is great. I'm gonna let them grow and grow and grow. So we come down here, I did go get bonnie plants because all the tomatoes that I planted from seed did not do as good as these. I lost a lot of them. And to make up for that, I got bonnie plants, which is fine. But when I planted these a week ago, they weren't even, they weren't even, a half, weren't even half that size. And look at how much they are growing. These things are doing great. So by the next video for update in May, I mean, they're probably going to be like way up here. So they're doing so good. I do have to get trellises built. And that'll be a video that'll be coming out on how I do my trellises for the tomatoes. Okay, more carrots. Lots of carrots. Got squashes and zucchinis right here doing good they've already doubled from when i planted them more carrots and then some more tomatoes right in here and then i've got this big bare area i'm not sure what i'm going to do here yet but i'll figure it out all right over here in this new raised bed this is the newest cinder block bed that i have and the soil is about six months old i'm shocked at how good everything's doing because over the winter pretty much everything i put in here did not do anything pretty much died but as you can see here, I've got nothing but, I got tons of onions here. I've got some zinnias that are gonna pop up right in these two holes. Garlic. I've got some planted peppers. I wasn't sure if they would do anything, but they actually took off. So I'm about to transplant them into the garden somewhere. Tomatoes right here. And again, these two, when I planted them, weren't even, were probably three inches from the wire. And that was two weeks ago. So they are doing so good. Got more peppers. I'm gonna have a lot of peppers this year. And then right here is nothing but okra. Okra, 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 okra. All through here. 
So I'm going to get a, I'm going to put in more of these to block this whole area in, to, to fence this area in where the okra are, to help the stalks from the wind. But I'm going to have a lot of okra. Excited. Okay, so these two plants, these two containers right here are the old bell peppers from last year. So this is their second year, and you can see how woody they are. I mean, they're almost like a tree. Branches are really gnarly. Everything's coming on, but look. Already got peppers starting. Pepper flowers starting. So it won't be long before peppers are growing on these on these two. And then right here, we have the pepper experiment that I did in December. This is the one that I topped, and this is the one that I just let go. Not this one, that one. You can see how good they're doing. So I'm still interested. I can't wait to see which one of these make it, but we'll see. Behind it here are eggplant. I've also got three more eggplants I'm gonna put in right here. So this will be the eggplant area. These are two white eggplants and I have three, um, I have three black beauties that'll go right there. Garlic, and more garlic. And then all these little greens that are popping up right here are peas. This whole section right here are nothing but peas. So again, I'm gonna fence this area off, trellis, put two trellises in, and then just let the peas do their thing. I'm really excited about the peas. I did not think they would take off that well. Now right here are red onions. So this whole bed is bookend by onions. I've got red onions here and then white onions back there. Forgot to mention that. But yep, onions, onion, onions everywhere. There's going to be flowers coming up in both of these. And to be totally honest, I forgot what I planted. So it'll be a surprise to me also. We got watermelons right here. I've got three different types of watermelon. And I know what you're gonna say, watermelons need a lot of room, and I know that. But last year what I did is I just let the watermelon vines go all back through here. And I'm gonna let, let them do the same thing this year. It's not ideal, but I will train them if they start growing to go that way, which hopefully they'll, they'll grow. This is cantaloupe. Now, I don't like cantaloupe at all, but my neighbor loves cantaloupe. So Matt, this one's for you. Hopefully they'll grow this year because they didn't do anything last year. Slope right there. I've got them next to this trellis. Not sure if I'll trellis them up. I know this is a short trellis, but if they start to grow, I can just extend. I have lots of pieces of trellis that I can extend up that fence. Not a problem at all. Okay, now one of the last videos I did last year was me transplanting this hydrangea from my, from my old job to here. And I said that it was probably going to look really bad over the winter, but it would come on strong in the spring. And look at that thing. This is like the Energizer Bunny. It just goes and goes. I love that thing. Peppermint sage. Nope, I'm sorry. Pineapple sage that survived the winter. Beautiful climbing roses that have just come on with flowers this year. Last year, I think I got three or four flowers. This year already, look how beautiful that is. I just love it out here. All right, so we got their strawberry plants that I planted. I think it was, <clears throat> I think it was November that I planted these. And we got a runner there, strawberry here, strawberry here. Hopefully they'll take off and just go, but who knows. Some beautiful lantanas right there. And there's the fairy garden. Just did the video on that the other day. I think it looks pretty good. We shoot over here. This whole bed is nothing but garlic. Now these are not doing as good as the ones on the other side of the of the yard, but they're not doing bad. Shift on down. Got some trat. I don't know. I guess I was saving that for something. Uh, carrots right here. Now these are the little carrots. They're probably only get about that big. And they've tripled their size in the last couple weeks also. Got oregano. We've got tarragon and just garden sage. And then there's the neighbor. 
Say hi, you're on YouTube. <laughs> He's the one I'm growing the cantaloupe for. Okay, so here is the blueberry bed. Blueberries are doing good. This one's coming on pretty good. This little stick, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's gonna die. I don't know. I'm gonna let it go though. I like to see what things do. I put in some marigolds. That's a volunteer marigold right there. Right here's a volunteer marigold and those blackberries are doing great. Check this out. Look, the blackberry is already flowering. That's so cool. And already growing. Look, I'm gonna start training it up the trellis here pretty soon. And then, and then that one's doing good. I wasn't sure if this blackberry would survive. Honestly, when I planted it, I was a little worried, but it's doing great. So yeah, blueberry and blackberry bush, or blueberry and blackberry bed, doing pretty good. Okay, over here, I am beyond joyed. Look at all the growth in these beds. Now, if y'all remember the trellis video that I made where I built these, and the video that I did where I built these planter boxes, this was the goal right here. Now I've got nine different types, no, seven different types of beans. And I can't remember all of them, but we've got fire tongue, uh, rattlesnake, the 1500 year old cave bean. Not doing really good. I've only got like three or four of those growing, but eh, it is what it is. And you can hear the neighbor's kids going crazy. It is a beautiful day here. Uh, more beans. I can't remember the names of all of them, but once they start growing, I'll get more on that. But look how beautiful these are. They broke the surface about two weeks ago. And look at how much growth are already on these beans. Now as we come down here, these right here are the Boston Pickling Cucumbers. Um, green beans right here. I didn't put a lot of green beans in, but we'll see what it does. And then just regular cucumbers right here. So I would say so far, all in all, this trellis system has been a success. And we got Joe here hanging out. Now I was asked what this is for. Well, <laughs> uh, when, rain, when it rains, the water comes right off of here and started just going crazy in here. So I put this board in to deflect the water. I know it doesn't look good, but hey, gardening, it's not a beauty contest. Okay, this is the first of the two beds that I ordered. You'll be back, soon you'll see. You remember you belong. This entire bed is nothing but peppers. Well, that's a tomatillo plant. But the rest of these are all, pe well, no. These are the three eggplant, the Black Beauty eggplants that I'm gonna transfer over there. But other than that, everything in here is peppers. Peppers, peppers galore. And all different types of peppers. From Tabasco peppers, to sweet banana peppers, to other jalapeno peppers, to just peppers, peppers, peppers. And they are all doing really good. They were all about this size. And now, you see, oh look, that one has a flower. That one has a flower. I didn't see that yesterday. But see, they're all starting to flower up and everything. The tomatillo plant here has been flowering for about a week and just growing and growing and growing. So this bed is doing superb. And if we swing right next to it, this bed, all through here are squash and zucchinis, different kinds. Now this one I did from seed. I didn't think it was gonna do very well. It's a white scallop squash, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. I'm just gonna see what it does. Hopefully it'll grow because I'm really interested in those. But we got straight neck, crooked neck, zucchini squashes just galore and look at that already look how beautiful that little baby squash is and then this plant is covered in squash and then so is this plant right here look at all these 
I like that one. Now, of course, I don't know if they've got pollinated or not when the flowers were opened. Hopefully, they did, because I am ready for some squash, and especially before the vine borers get here. Another little baby squash right there. And then if, you if we come right over here, all of this green, all through here, this whole section from that blue tab this way are all seed tomatillos. I am going to go tomatillo crazy this year. That is my goal anyway. Lots of salsas is my plan for the year and I am off to a really good start with them. Three different types of tomatillo, everything from here this way or verde these are purple and then this is a different type of purple so two different breed uh, two different species of purple tomatillo and then all the normal green tomatillos that people are used to now let's come into the container garden area i am really really happy about this setup that i have peppers right here now these are like basically burn your entire mouth off peppers yep red ghost peppers right here they've probably doubled in size this is the jalapeno plant experiment these were from last year wasn't sure if they would do anything but as you can see but as you can see there is life all over these jalapeno branches so i'm hoping they take off forgot what this is this is a blonde bell pepper plant that will obviously need to be up potted very, very soon. That thing has probably quadrupled in size since I planted it. Same with these culapinos. Now these plants are jalapenos, but without the heat. So just the flavor of the jalapeno. So I had these last year and I had them all mixed in with everything and forgot which was what and you burn your mouth off. You got the wrong ones, but now I know they're in this bucket. <laughs> this is that fig tree that I did the cutting on last year, that video. And see how good it's doing? I'm so proud about that. And then look at all the life of these fig trees right here that have just come alive. Look at that. They are going crazy. Beautiful flowers. This is my Meyer lemon tree. Now last year this thing gave me probably 20 lemons, big, big like baseball sized lemons, well tennis ball sized lemons. Did really good and already this year it's putting on a lot of, a lot of flowers like that right there. So I'm going to have to train this up. Right next to it, this one with all these flowers and this one are the key lime. It's the thornless Mexican key lime. Last year, this plant right here did not have a single flower on it. And look at all the buds on this thing already. So I expect to have a lot of lemons, or I'm sorry, a lot of limes. And then right beside it, I forgot what this is, but it's got freaking thorns. Um, okay, so this plant right here is a mandarin orange. And then look at all of the flowers on that. I am so happy and excited about that. Now one thing to remember with citrus trees, you have to make sure that you know which ones. You have to make sure you know which citrus trees have those. Right. Have those right there. Those thorns hurt to say that. Okay, least. jumping over here to this side. This is a pink lemonade lemon tree. Now, last year I didn't have a single flower on this. And this year already, look at all the life coming out of this plant. I am incredibly excited to get my hands on a lemon that looks like that. Look how beautiful that is. I sure hope they come out looking like that. All right, right next to that, besides Jojo sitting there, hey baby George. Right next to that is my favorite plant of all. <laughs> yeah, right. This is the Kalamondin, and for those of you that have been following this, y'all know how much I do not like this tree. I don't like the fruit. It, to me, it is just not pleasant at all. The tartness just kills me. 
But I do want to say thank you to all the viewers that have commented on those videos. I didn't expect a lot of comments or interaction from those videos, quite honestly. But the outpouring has honestly shocked me. And I want to say thank you to everyone who has responded to, the, to that video or to the two videos that I did on the Kalamondans. I really enjoy interacting with everyone. So, hey, if you see a video from last year that speaks to you, drop a comment in the, drop a comment to that video and I will respond. It might take me a day or so, but I will get to it. Absolutely. I love doing this and interacting with everyone. So, um, hey, let's just keep it going. So a lot of interaction on this fruit and a lot of ideas that I will put into practice this year. Coming next to it we got a rosemary bush that is just it survived the winter so i'm going to let it do its thing and the smell the smell on that is incredible love it right here's another pepper plant this is the onion experiment from a couple weeks ago look at how much this has grown i am just beyond impressed another lime tree right here that's putting on flowers and then these two are olive trees they have not put on any fruit yet at all but i know it's coming okay last but not least is the succulent garden these plants are doing so well like i said in, in the two succulent videos that i've done i really think you have to honestly try to kill these things now this one's not taken off as well and these didn't really do great like this one i think is it might be dead no look it's coming back too it's got life on it it just looks horrible so today is what april 7th i guarantee by the end of the year this pot is going to look something like this maybe not you know two foot tall on that one but it's going to look good so succulents grow them they're easy bring color to your garden and uh you know why not I love them. All right, everyone. So that's the garden update for April uh, 2022. Uh, the garden's doing good. You know, most of everything's only been out here, honestly, growing for about three weeks, somewhere in that range. And a lot of it is doing super good. So I totally expect by May's garden update that there's going to be massive growth just everywhere. And uh, I mean, that's what we want, right? Let's, let's get everything growing. If you have not got stuff in the ground and you're in the zone nine area or eight to 10, um, get stuff in the ground, get, get seeds started, do something, get out there in the garden and start growing. This is the time to do it. And by May, June, you're gonna start reaping the rewards with <laughs> Go to the backyard and get some vegetables. What's better than that? Hey everyone, so that's the video. If you enjoyed this video, hit this like button. I wouldn't necessarily say share this video unless someone just really likes garden tours. But if you're a follower of this channel, I really do appreciate it. And I like doing these because it helps give me an idea of where I was at this day or that day or that day. And I have actually looked back on last year's videos to see just, hey, what did work, what didn't work. What, where did I grow what? So if y'all uh, haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscription button right there. And check me out on Facebook and Instagram. It's Down Home Backyard Gardening. Type it into the search box and you'll find me. But hey, or shine bright and harvest hard. Bye. This bed, how do I do this bed, son? All right, everybody. So it's the first week of April and I have yet to do a garden tour this year. So hey everybody.